So I'm going to do a demonstration to show you if this were a, a bird that was contaminated with petroleum oil or other oil base. This is just tempera of uh, art, um, art, uh, art paint, but it has an oil base. So what I do is straight, and then what I'll do is I'll put it in water with Dawn. And Dawn, for now, is the only detergent that we found that will be that is so effective. The um, other detergent companies have tried to duplicate the formula, but they haven't come up with it. Uh, this is soy based soy baked uh, chemical, and it seems to to make soy baked. And then we will now wash it. Now look at that. Isn't that amazing? It does, it just washes it right off. Like that. Now, depending on how bad the bird is, uh, we would go through this process several, may have to go through it several times. You'll have a, a, a tub with heavy with the, uh, the Dawn solution in it. We, you have to be very careful. Birds are very sensitive. You, you, they go into shock if you don't work quickly, and their feathers can get broken off too. So you, you put them in, and then you have to just kind of rub them and work, work the oil off. Then you put them in the next Dawn solution, and it'll get lighter and lighter until it looks like this. And then when you're through, when it, when the water turns out as close to this as possible, then what we would do is use a high pressure hose and then hose off the detergent because. The, you know, the detergent is a contaminant as well, and so you have to be sure it's really washed and you know, washed off the heat completely. Um, birds have a temperature of 104, and you have to be very careful when washing the bird to make sure that you stay within that range. If it gets too hot or gets too, too cold, they can go into shock and it's fire. So um, then after we're through with washing them off thoroughly, then we'll put them in what we call a pelagic box that has a netting on the bottom and then we have a, a, a dryer that will dry them from underneath and get them dry. Then we'll try and waterproof them again. We'll put them in a, a warm water pool and see if their feathers, if the feathers look like this. Well, that wasn't a good one because I used it. So if it will bead up, see how that beads up? Mm -hmm. It looks like that and that bird, bird is in good shape and we've washed him back. And then we can probably, if other conditions are right, we'll be able to release him. Which is very good. Yeah, which is our goal.